Frank. What happened? Frank, call an ambulance. Get an ambulance! Yeah. Now! Okay, now. Okay, all right. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, ambulance, please. There's been an accident on the corner of Coronation Street and Rosalind Street. No, look, just stay here. Uh, yeah, I think one person's been run over. Who's been run over? Look, I, I don't know, but she looked in a bad way. But please, just, just be as quick as you can. Thank you. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do. I think, she, I think she's still breathing. She just stepped out into the road. I didn't see her. There's no way I could stop in time. Frank, is she OK? I don't know. Did you call an ambulance? Yeah, yeah. Listen, Frank, don't, don't touch anything. Peter, why didn't you tell me? Oh, hey, uh, she, she was banging on the door and I had to stick the rest. She was banging on the door and I had to stick the door. Stop. Stop. Door. This is not your fault. I think called an ambulance. Who's coming? You need to tell Eva and Carl. They need to know. They need to call me. Eva and Carl. You need to tell them what's happened. Carry on through it all. Do you have to have it so loud? Hey, I said, do you have to have it so loud? It's my favourite. I did. I said it's my favourite. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I have to work. I'm going to check on Carla. What's name, love? It's Stella. Hello, Stella. Stella, can you hear me? Stella? All right, who have you got here, then? Carla. Hello, Carla. Can you hear me, love? Can you wake up for me? No. Oh, my please, come on. Leanne! What's happened? I, I don't know. I didn't see anything. Oh, Russ is missing. He's run off. I don't Russ. know. Russ! Russ! Hey, 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 look at the little lad. Um, long black hair. Curly. Name's Russ. I'll be with you Back in a second, sir. Just wait a minute, please. Russ! 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 It's Russ! To Norris, a hero of the hour. To well, Norris. Norris. Nice one. You see, law and order is not the sole responsibility of the police. We all have a duty to be vigilant. And you have always been vigilant. Uh, I'll be honest, though. The only reason you was hanging around that butcher's is to have a nose. I have a nose for trouble. According to the police, he was clearly here checking out the air. He's got no idea he saved our skin. Hi. What can I get you? Uh, nothing. I need to speak to Carl. Oh, OK. Carl? Pete, what's Yes, mate, what's up? I have a word in private. Yeah, sure. I'm out of that. Hello? Oh, hi, Fizz. Yeah, did they give him a message? Listen, I've got some really good news. He's been arrested? Are you sure? What did she do? No, Ty, this is the best news I've had in ages. Honest, I can't believe it. I just didn't see her came round the corner, she backed into the road, I tried to swerve, but I still hit her. OK, you were driving? Yes. Had you been drinking? It was our engagement dinner, but I'd only had one, that's all. OK, well, in a moment, I'll need to take a breathalyzer test, OK? Can I check on my fiancé first? Yeah, it'll only take a second. OK, she's in good hands. She has to get to hospital. I need to call my parents. Please. OK, I want you to blow into this tube, sir, all right? One long, continuous breath. Yeah, well, I'm a doctor. Anything I can do? She's just come round, so she seems a bit confused. Hi, right, Carla. It's me. Can I ask a few questions? My dad's a person. That's a good sign. You know who I am. Is she going to be all right? Because she hasn't woken up yet. Stella! Stella! What's happening, Leanne? She's going to be all right? She got hit by Frank's car. Hit by Frank? What? What do you mean? We need to get her to hospital. You need to speak to Eva. You need to tell her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll phone her. Can I come with you? Are you relative? I'm a daughter. You go. I'll check on Sai and I'll go and find Eva. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, no, Look, no, 
one's seen him. He's not in the book because we've looked there. Yes, so where is it? I don't know. Oh, I'm calling Sheldon. Oh, let me. No, it's, 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 it's already ringing. You're just going to stand there. No, I'm going to keep on looking. Trouble. No, May. It's me and your dad who are in big trouble. I'm sorry, Russ. Can you um open this up? It's really difficult to open through the door. Oh, come here, kid. Have you seen what's happened out there? Well, it's, it's okay. Where's Ross? We, 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 we don't know. He must have snuck out. What if he was hit by the car? Have you looked everywhere? Have you called the police? It's, it's, it's not in there. We checked. No, come here. Oh. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Mum! Oh, God. Brings back memories. Bad memories. Hmm. You okay? Like you even care. What's going on? Where's my mum? Where have you been, Eva? She's just getting some chips. Listen, don't panic. But there's been an accident, love. Come on. Well, where is she? Is she okay? Where are we going? I'm gonna go to the hospital. Come on. I feel so flaming useless. Yeah, I know. He's keeping out of our way. Well, whatever he did, I don't suppose he did it on purpose. He ran her over. What exactly did you see? I didn't see anything. I was inside. She knocked on the door, rang the bell. She even shouted through the letterbox, but I ignored her because I was in a foul mood. She was only standing there because I was nasty to her at the pub. No. She was there because I told her to go after you and sort things out. Do you think she's going to be okay? Yeah. She'll be fine. She's tough. Just need a word. Maybe now you can explain what happened. Didn't see her. I came around the corner. She wasn't looking. She stepped out into the road. There was nothing I could do. How fast were you driving? Not that fast. Too fast. Otherwise, you could have stopped. I told you I didn't see her. Look, Carl, I know you're angry, and I'm really, really sorry about Stella, but my fiance was hurt too, you know. Saw so them breathalyze you. Yeah, it was clear I wasn't drunk. But you did run her over. Is he okay? He was worried he was going to be in trouble. Yeah, well, it wasn't his fault. Oh, I know exactly whose fault it was. Yeah, well, the things got a bit out of hand. Oh, according to Rush, you were this close to having a fist fight in here. So what was it about? It's about nothing. Nothing? It, it doesn't matter now. Look, it isn't the most important thing. He's home and he's safe. Can you imagine how I felt? Knowing my son is missing and the street is full of ambulances and police and a crashed car. Look, I felt exactly the same. Yeah, except you were meant to be looking after him. You know, all you had to do was sit there and watch TV while he was asleep. How difficult is that? Well, I don't care if she's going to miss a bingo. Just get it done. Bring me when it's sorted. In a minute. Do you need a hand? No, I'm fine, thank you. Because I'm sorry I was shirty with you before. Can I get you, mate? Uh, three pints, please, when you're ready. Right, shift. I'll sort this out. Uh, this is my pub. And I am offering to help you. This is a temporary truce, right? Due to extreme circumstances. Fine. What well, you reckon you and Tina can manage for five minutes while I go and change your barrel? I think so. Gazza, what was it? Three pints? Yes, please, Bex. Uh, what did Andy Warhol say about 15 minutes of fame? Hey, we've not forgot what you've done. You're still a hero to us. And we thank you for your bravery. Hey, you should be thanking him for saving your necks. No, we have thought something. Oh, you were stupid boys with a stupid plan. You're lucky no one got seriously hurt. At least dead. 
Yeah. We were trying to help Fizz. Uh, yeah, some help. Well, she was being terrorised. Now she's safe thanks to us. No, thanks to Norris. Hey, the door to my room's open. I thought I was the only one with a key. Okay, come on. When is this gonna stop? Can't you do something? If you want to make an official complaint against one of the inmates... I just want this to stop! Smiles. I'm so sorry. Why are you always getting yourself into so much trouble? I said some terrible things. Do you think that matters now? She needs your support, not your guilt. Come here. Come on over hand. Do you think that she can hear us? She can hear me two rooms away when she wants to. Stella, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean what I said. It just all worked up. I wasn't thinking. I don't want you to go. In fact, I'd be really angry if you went because... I just need you here. Close to me. Did you hear that? We need you, gorgeous. Need you. Oh, we can't make a big zero out of everything if you're not around. What is she doing here? Eh? Oh, my head hurts. Carla, what did you think you were doing? You were drunk. You took the car. That's not what happened. Listen to me. Look at me. This is really important. Don't say anything to anyone. You don't remember what happened. You blacked out. You leave it all to me, okay? Mr. Foster, I'd like to take your statement if you've got a few minutes. Yeah, of course, sure. Okay, sweetheart, you rest, okay? Be back as soon as I can. Do you understand? Calm down, this is not helping anybody. I don't want to hear it. What does she care? She shouldn't be here. I don't want to cause trouble. Wait. This is my mum. She gave you away. She didn't want you, and I don't want you either. Now go. First thing Leanne said was to get you. I'm sorry. Mum. Stay. Look at her. What's wrong with her? Is she going to be okay? I'm worried about her head injuries and the blood loss. She just looks like she's sleeping. We've been talking to her. How do you hold her hand? What a lot of excitement. Yes, I doubt I'll sleep tonight. <laughs> well, we could stay up and have a midnight feast. Ah, oh, yes, yes, but do do the papers in the morning. <laughs> Ever the professional. Despite the drug loads and the car crashes, the show must go on. Yes. Any news from hospital? Uh, Carl said he'd ring whenever there was any news. Right. I can stay as long as you want, you know. Cheers. Appreciate it. Hey, I'm sorry I roped you into all this mess. But well, that's what makes it for, isn't it? Cheers. Yeah, all you want. Mm. Oh, and next time I've got a drug dealer locked up in a butcher's fridge, I'll, uh, I'll know who to call. I'm your man. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I am sorry about earlier. You did a good thing. A stupid thing, a good thing. And I know if it's in Fizz's shoes, I'd feel really grateful. Cheers. That, that means a lot coming from you. Well, uh, I reckon I'm going to get used to the fact that you're a good bloke. A really good bloke. Matt, are you okay? Yeah. How are they? Yeah, Carla's fine. They're still touch and go for Stella. Come here. What's so good about being a doctor anyway? 
Well, they do save people's lives. And then swan around bragging about it. He's not bragging. No, but he's there looking at oh, all. Look at me, I'm the hero. He's not said a word. Well, he doesn't have to, does he? Putting all over his face. Angry redhead at nine o'clock. Here, grass. How'd you like yourselves? Extreme makeover. <laughs> I want a word with you. You talking to me? This stops now. Why? You're gonna run off and tell on me? Right. Back off or I'll rip her head off! <laughs> I've got some news for you. Your mate Leon has been arrested and charged and locked up. You see, I've got mates on the outside too. And you just made a big mistake. Because right now, I feel like I could squeeze the life out of you. Now you stay away from me and my baby or I might just completely lose it and do something really bad. I'm relying on you to take responsibility. Yeah, but, you know, this was a two-man cock-up. Chris is ill. He's still got his responsibilities. He spent all morning at the hospital, Lloyd. You shouldn't have been right with him. Hang on, I'm not taking the rap for this on my own. I mean, I let you down, OK? But Chris played his part. He can't play the brain tumour card every time he messes up. Lloyd! It's like I'm serious, I'm struggling here. I've let your ex into my home for your sake, not his. And frankly, I've had very little thanks for it. And every time something goes wrong, he gets a free ride while I take the blame. Do you know what? I, I know how Russ feels, cos right now, I feel like running away and all. Lloyd! Hey. Hey, love. They're just doing some more tests. Have you seen her? Yeah. She was out of it, though. She's all wired up and that. She's been unconscious for ages. Yeah. How's Carla doing? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen her. Frank's kept out of the way. Yeah, well, Frank looked pretty shaken up when I saw him. Yeah, well, he's just ran somebody over. He's bound to be shook up. Yeah. How's them two doing? They've got it. Well, at least we're not fighting anymore. Yeah. Listen, size okay, my dads. We can stay here as long as we like. Time we pulled together, eh? Hey. Hey. Leon says still no news. No. Don't know what they're doing. I mean, we just sat here, we don't know. It's just difficult to know what to say to you. I'll have plenty to say when I see that Frank Foster again. Was he drunk? Because he was in the bistro and I'm sure I saw him drinking. Well, the police breathalyzed him. He was under the limit. <laughs> that doesn't excuse him. He still ran her over, didn't he? I'm sorry we've been so long. I'm afraid it's not good news. We've stopped all the external bleeding, but she's still losing blood. Which means she's bleeding internally. We're sending her for a CT scan of her head and abdomen and then we'll know more. It's possible we may have to operate. I'm afraid it's likely to be a long night. I will be back as soon as I have any more news. I don't know what else to say. It's my fault, but she just stepped into the road. I'm terrible about the whole thing. I still need to interview Mrs. Connor. Give her a few minutes, will you? She's been through hell tonight, I think. She's still in shock. I'll be back in five minutes. OK. Frank, what's going on? It's fine, you don't need to worry. When I woke up in the car, I was in the passenger seat. How did that happen? You were unconscious. I moved you. You what? How much had you had to drink, Carla? You ran Stella over your band. If they knew you were driving, you'd go to jail. I didn't mean to. I know, I know. Hey, I know. That's why I moved you. And guess what? No one saw me. I told the police I was driving. They breathalyzed me. I was fine. I can't do this. Shh, shh, shh. Listen, listen. I love you. I'm not going to lose you. All you got to do is back up my story. I was driving. Stella stepped out into the road, and it was an accident. That's all it was, an accident, OK? That's what you tell the police. You can't I can. do it. I have. It's done. Look, look, it's going to be fine. Just do as I say. 
Trust me, and we'll both be fine. <sighs> the best thing that ever happened to me. You're trying to say that she might never wake up. That's a possibility, yes. This is your fault? Oh, and you're blameless, I suppose. One of us could go inside for a very long time. If you've missed a recent episode of Coronation Street, you can catch up with the ITV Player or on BT Vision or Virgin Media, Vision Digital, TME on demand. So live next tonight, will the UK get its third new millionaire? Ian and Cherie will certainly be hoping it's third time lucky as they plump for red or black. <laughs>